Tow rig goals. Got my gray Toyota and my gray Toyota race car all loaded up. We're gonna take the IS to a PFI performance tomorrow to a Brent for a dyno tune. Hopefully we don't blow the motor and make a little bit more power. But damn, I'm loving how this tow setup looks. Bucket list achieved. What is up guys? It's Curtis, I'm back, C3 Garage Media. Today's a pretty special, pretty cool day. Uh, as you can see behind us, I have the IS on the trailer. And uh, I am taking us to PFI right now to go get a new tune. Looking forward to seeing what Brent can do with this thing. Catch you guys there. Good. Walk around some of the cars they got out here. Turbo Civic. Bunch of Turbo Civics. Got Jamie's neon. Got black and white neon. Got the IS strapped to the dyno. Ready to make some pulls once Brent gets here. Got that bully. Got Mr. Brenton here just getting connected. What up? Let's see what's going on with this bad boy. No more. Put her out here. too bad on our first pole put 315 316 it takes the abuse it has.
on the money. Man. Ask and ye shall receive. What kind of boost was that? definitely when I'm drifting I'm doing you know a lot of those heavy clutch kicks and getting yeah. it on boost really really fast so yeah hell yeah it's definitely looking good thank you nice and smooth and this is only at like 9 psi this there's runner. like a 9 psi little spike in here <laughs> but it's like it doesn't hold the 9 yet but that's what I'm working on wow Cause if it even just hold 9 that'd be quite a bit more I get the number you're chasing to be honest, I mean, 400 is good, but, you know, it's still fairly conservative. Yeah. Another yeah, pound wouldn't it's hurt. It's still pretty conservative. <laughs> Timing-wise in it and everything else, it's not. With pump gas. It's spot right yeah. there. I was telling him I had timing knocked out of it at past 10 pounds and that's what we touched so so then that's I, I, I was running a little ridge. Perfect. So it's cool. A little safer. Yep. Hell yeah. 422. And uh, yeah we got 400 came in here put a little over 3 310 to the wheels 315 left at 421.33 that's so cool thanks it's dude rad. and you it's just a really great build <laughs> until you spent your time on it too it's good works well i appreciate it yeah it's cool and that was at about 10 psi you 10 said 10 psi at the top yeah pretty so conservative we built a time. ramp so it's like it's probably 10 pounds right in here and the rest wow and that's kind of even where the timing comes in. So there's not much timing in the middle. And... That's why you bring cool. it to the best for a tune, man. Fun, bring man. it to these guys, PFI. <laughs> Without the car, you know? Thousand horsepower yeah, prelude. This thing is so sick. This is a beast, man. Thousand wheel horsepower. Nothing big, you know. Yeah. Just take no. off a grand and... Usual prelude thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're back from PFI Speed um, from getting the IS three hundred tuned. What an experience, Brent. Uh, I just want to thank you and Jamie so much for the help. Um, you know, I appreciate you getting a car uh, that's kind of the different from the norm than you regularly see. Um, so again, thank you for that. Um, but holy cow! Oh, went in uh, to the dyno with uh, a little over 300 horsepower and left with uh, well over 400 horsepower. So what a cool experience that was. Um, again, Project IS300 is ripping uh, 422 wheel horsepower at just over uh, 9 PSI. We touched 10 PSI for just a little bit in the tunes. So um again i'm set pretty conservatively i wasn't going to break any power numbers i'm positive there's more left in this motor but uh with the stock na um ge i just want to keep it conservative i'm on pump gas not e85 yet um so basically i just want to uh, have something that's reliable that makes good power and is fun to, to drift and drag and do whatever the heck else i want so Guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, 
sorry I haven't been making so many videos lately. I've been trying to get this thing to pass emissions, which I literally have a, a stack of failed emissions uh, tests from trying everything from putting catalytic converters on it to different tunes to fuel pressure to additives. And I just, I still can't get this to pass. I was close once, but anyway, um, that's kind of my next mission is to get this thing streetable again because i do want to be able to drive it to events and stuff that's kind of why i have it is like a daily driven racer even though it's not daily driven and yeah go from there so guys i'm out thank you so much for watching subscribe like and watch for more